breakfast. Hello. You are making my anxiety come, Diana. With you. Sorry for that phone to be on the charger. And I am the cooking queen and today we have a special meal. I am going to be making a country skillet, a country breakfast skillet. Now this came about from smoking and grilling with AB. AB, I'm making this meal for you. I want you to eat it. I want you to enjoy it. I put a little twist on your country breakfast skillet, okay? So with AB's country breakfast skillet, he used bacon. I am not going to be using bacon. I'm going to be using something special. I'm going to be using some Texas USDA approved roast beef, okay? Um, with his, he didn't use any onion, so I'm putting some onion in yours today, okay? So we're going to be using some beautiful green onion right here. Um, basically, all the rest of the ingredients that he used, we're going to be using today. But I just want to give you a little southern twist on your country breakfast skillet. So check out my ingredients. This is what we're going to need today. We're going to be using some largely shredded, high quality, sharp cheddar cheese. We're going to be using parsley, fresh parsley, green onions, a green bell pepper. We're going to be using eggs, red potatoes, and this baby right here, this roast beef. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I'm so happy to make this. I can't wait to taste it. I know you're going to love it. But you know, the Cooking Queen show is brought to you by the Cooking Queen's Everything Seasoning. So if you have not picked up your Everything Seasoning, go ahead and pick up your Everything Seasoning, honey. I have no idea what you're waiting for because, honey, it is so good and it's so delicious and you can use it on every single thing. It'll save you from using the salt and the pepper to give your... Uh, Food, a little flavor, a little spice, and make everything nice. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and prep this. The first thing that I want to prep is going to be my meat because I need to cook this and I need to make sure that it is going to be tender, okay? So I am going to go ahead and cut up my meat. I'm gonna give my meat a little rinse, a little rinse. This baby up. This is beautiful. Look at, look at how thick this baby is. It doesn't have a lot of fat, but it has enough so that it can be tender and this is extra delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and split this baby in half. Now, uh, this is going to feed three, but I think it will feed more. I'm only going to be using one half of that, okay? So, this is a lot of meat, a lot, a lot of meat. And I don't want meat in every single bite. I just want meat, you know, every other bite. Because this Texas meat won't play with you, honey. You got to be able to digest it. All right. So what I'm going to do is... But aluminum foil is... Um, breaking up. But it'll just save... The point of it was to save, you know, my cutting board. Oh, this looks so good. All ready. All right. So, we have our meat here. And what I want to do is use my iron skillet. I'm going to be using an iron skillet. 
And I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in my skillet. A little bit of olive oil or whatever oil I have handy. And I have some vegetable oil handy. So I'm just gonna get my skillet nice and piping hot. I want it to be nice and piping hot. meat in the pan. I'm going to be using some brisket rub. This is really, really good. Use that there and mix it on in. Now this doesn't have any salt in it or anything. This is all herbs and flavor. I'm also going to be using This is nothing but flavor as well. No salt. All right, our pan should be ready. Let's go. Oh, it smells so good. Can you smell it? at a high temperature because I want this steak to brown. I want to sear it. And it's starting to drop its temperature. So I'm just going to raise it. You'll hear it starting to drop its temperature when you hear it, uh, when you see the juices. We're going to leave it on this side for two to three minutes and then we'll flip it to the other side. brown color. If they don't, they don't get flipped. Bless you. I think I want to switch burners. Can you turn that burner over there for me? As I would like. Right there. Bam. Seasoning right there on top of the thing, like that. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. Watch the temperature. Um, some of the parts of the onion for later, and we're gonna use the bottom part. Go ahead and take this and throw it in the pan with the steak as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and flip the ones that didn't get flipped before because now they are ready.
And throw that on there. And we are going to put a top on this baby and reduce the heat. Old school way of cutting these potatoes. smells just like parsley. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, that's all the parsley I need. I'll go ahead and put that in my bowl. My cute little bowl. And I don't need these either. So basically I'm gonna clean up my mess while the potato cooks. Nothing but flavor as well. No salt. All right, our pan should be ready. Let's go. Oh, it smells so good. Can you smell it? temperature because I want this steak to brown. I want to sear it. And it's starting to drop its temperature. So I'm just going to raise it. You'll hear it starting to drop its temperature when you hear it, uh, when you see the juices. We're going to leave it on this side for two to three minutes and then we'll flip it to the other side. If they don't, they don't get flipped. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. I think I want to switch burners. Can you turn that burner over there for me? As I would like. Right there. Bam. Okay. While that's cooking on the same seasoning, right there on top of that thing. Parts of the onion for later, and we're going to use the bottom part. So I'm just going to chop this onion. All right, chop it. in there like that. Throw that in with the steak. Right there, just like that. We're going to do the same thing with the pepper. Go ahead and take this and throw it in the pan with the steak as well. I'm going to go ahead and flip the ones that didn't get flipped before because now they are ready. Throw that on there, and we are going to put a top on this baby and reduce the heat. Right? Quickly. Oh, that looks so good. Looks like pepper steak. I'm going to go ahead and get it some more tape. Go ahead and get it stuck a little taste. Excuse me. Right on over here. See if that's ready. Old school way of cutting these potatoes. smells just like parsley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all the parsley I need. I'll go ahead and put that in my bowl. My cute little bowl. And I don't need these either. So basically I'm gonna clean up my mess while I can
show you guys what the meal is looking like. All right, y'all. So we are back in that thing. I am heating up my um, my steak once again because I want to be able to incorporate my half done potatoes. Well, these are like three fourths done. They're probably almost all almost all the way done. I'm just going to incorporate them into my pan, and I'm going to be using a separate pan to lay everything out because this is a lot of steak to be having in such a small pan. But I do want to incorporate because all my flavors are in this iron skillet. So I'm taking them directly out of the boiling pot and putting them right into my pan. Making sure that everything is incorporated. All the flavors. See the juices at the bottom right there? That's what we're going to get. All right, so that's perfect. Now I'm just going to do the top. Cover it back and just let it simmer. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna make my eggs. for the egg. Right here in this pan, put a little bit of oil. And let this get nice and hot for our eggs. And to my eggs, all I'm adding is this spicy Monterey steak seasoning. A little bit of that over here. And a little bit of everything. Seasoning, a little 
little bit of cheese and a little bit of parsley to my eggs. All right, let's go ahead and bring it on over here. I think I'm going to need a couple more eggs. Bit more cheese and parsley. That's what we want here. We want these eggs to cook fast and good. Good and fast. Move them around. Keep the movement so you don't get a burnt. Because the cheese will melt. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Can you just think? Huh? Just think. Keep it moving. I want them to be pieces, not whole eggs. Egg is pretty much done. You can smell the cheese. Excuse me. Quickly. Help your sister with the recording, please. Incorporate. Cooking. I'm going to taste it to make sure my flavors are right. Mm, mm -hmm. We're going to do the cheese.
going to do a little bit more cheese. Just in some of the areas. Some of the areas that weren't blessed so much. Right on the exterior, I think. We're going to do a little bit of pepper on top. Just a little something. And we're going to cover it for two to three minutes just to let the cheese melt. Go ahead and use the same. Looks like heaven. Looks like heaven. Mm -hmm. heaven. It's heaven. Oh, look at that cheese. this up a bit. Like that. And we're going to garnish it. So, AB, this is for you. I want you to hit me back with another rendition of this country Skillet, breakfast skillet. Hit me back. Here we are. Bon appetit. I hope you enjoy it. Eat up. Eat up. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like the Texas roast beef twist that I added to it. And let me know. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think about this country sauce breakfast skillet with the roast beef. I am the cooking queen. I really enjoyed preparing this meal for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will try this recipe out in your own kitchen on a Saturday morning or a Saturday afternoon. And I'll see you guys live Monday at 6 p.m. right here on the Cooking Network. The Cooking Cook Cooking Cooking Cooking, cooking, cooking Incorporated. Bam. Bye.